marketers, this is Natalie with the Influence Marketing Platform here to talk to you today about gated white paper campaigns. As you can see here, we're going to start with how someone's going to get a white paper from you. There are a lot of different ways you can make this happen, one of which is display. So in this case, you'll see here we've created a display ad that's going to serve up a white paper. You may also choose to distribute white papers, which really ultimately help build awareness about your brand and get some early funnel leads into your campaigns. You may want to distribute those as well on social media, and maybe you want to consider adding those onto your website also. So the goal here is to get someone to click through on this ad, and when they do, you'll have an influence marketing platform landing page on the back end for them to actually download the content. You'll see here that we're gonna keep things relatively simple at first because we know that these people might be new to the sales cycle for us, so we're only gonna ask them for first name, last name, company, and email address. If you're serving up a lot of white paper campaigns, then you may want to consider adding progressive capture to your landing page forms. And what that would mean is that the next time someone came to download something from you, you would ask a different set of questions. So maybe at that point you want to ask for their job title or their phone number. Once somebody inserts their information into the landing page, we want to serve up their, uh, their white paper via email. That helps us ensure that they're actually giving us the correct email address. So if we want to continue to nurture them in the future, we have a real email address to work with instead of something someone just plugged in just to get the download. In that case, we're gonna jump over into the email builder. So as we consider what we wanna put into the email that we're gonna serve up their white paper, you'll see here that we probably wanna assign this to a campaign so that we know what it's relative to. And we may want to consider adding some personalization based on what we know they've given us in the landing page. For example, first name. That'll help them make sure that we know it's them. And if possible, we probably want to add in some variable content. So in this case, maybe we want it to look like it's coming from the record owner in our system if we have a record owner. If not, we need a fallback variable. In this case, we'll just use my name. Here you'll see we'll add just a little bit more in terms of personalization. So we know we have their first name and we're gonna keep things simple in this email. We just wanna give them this button to get started so they can download the content, which as you'll see here, can live in your asset library. Once someone downloads this content, what do you wanna have happen next? Well, let's look at what a workflow might potentially look like. If we pop over to the workflow, you'll see we've got our group that's being fed by the landing page and we have our automated email that comes right away and serves up that download. What we can do here is now decide how we're going to branch out our communications based on engagement. So here we'll put in one of our decision makers and we're going to check to see if somebody is engaged with our content before continuing to market to them via email. So let's say we wanted to wait five days and then check to see if this person has reached a contact score demonstrating that they've actually gone and engaged with some of our content greater than, we'll just pick 15 for now. That's ultimately a decision you'll wanna make with your sales team. If they stay engaged with email, maybe we wanna consider adding an additional email to our chain here. And this could come from a salesperson. Maybe it's gonna serve up complimentary information to the white paper they already downloaded. Maybe it's a video testimonial. Either way, you can continue to send them some email content here. What if they don't engage with our email content? Well, maybe we wanna add them to a different kind of campaign. In this case, you may want to drop people who don't engage into a group, and then you can serve up maybe direct mail content to them, or you can have your sales team call, or maybe you wanna drop them into a display campaign. However you wanna do it, you've got an extra way to capture someone who may not be initially engaged with email. Well, we've completed our first downloadable white paper campaign. And if you have other campaigns you'd like to see from us in the future, please be sure to drop those in the comments. We'd be happy to show you how to make them work.